Let's see, the Hermit in Reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> so I'm wondering where in your life, Aquarius, have you been questioning whether or not you should move on from with the Hermit in Reverse and the Eight of Cups? Um, this could be in any area of your life, but since it's a cup, uh, the Eight of Cups, that's pointing to something to do with your emotional world. And that could be in a romantic sense or could also relate to your profession if you haven't been feeling emotionally satisfied with your current position or what you've been doing of how to financially, uh, physically, in the material world, support yourself. Where have you been reconsidering and maybe looking for outside opinions as to what you should be doing? And perhaps those answers haven't been entirely clear in January. So let's clarify these. The judgment, the Page of Swords, and the Star in Reverse. So feeling like a decision needs to be made coming out of January and maybe it the decision wasn't yours if you were asked to step down from a position or you were let go from a job in your profession um, it could have been from somebody new in the company is what I'm picking up an air sign or somebody with air qualities uh, that thought they knew better and maybe it was a reorganization uh, of the corporation perhaps that you've been working in or some type of organization and there's been a restructuring and I feel like moving on from this maybe wasn't your choice again with the the knight of pentacles in reverse with the star in reverse feeling a little bit like your efforts in what you have been endeavoring in whatever, whatever area of life, Aquarius, how this is resonating with you, um, that they weren't paying off or you didn't get the rewards that you were aiming for. So that is curious. I'm going to go, I'm going to do this pretty quickly and jump into the February energies. The Divine Lover's card, the Lover's card, and the Queen of Wands. So maybe in February it's opening up some space for you to spend some more time in a way on your love life, on your romantic relationships. and. Or maybe even if it's not that, Aquarius, if you were let go from a position or you are moving on from a job, you're going to be pretty immediately diving into something that feels so much more appropriate for your soul path. And there could be, a <laughs> with the Queen of Wands, a fire sign female who's a little bit troublesome. And let's clarify these to see. Temperance in reverse. The King of Swords on the Lovers. And you are having these eclipse energies on the Aquarian Leo axis, and we just came out of one yesterday. I'm recording this on February 1st, Aquarius. So the lunar eclipse in your opposite sign of Leo very well could have been an ending for you. Uh, depending on where that falls in your chart. And if you're Aquarius rising, that would have fallen in your seventh house of partnerships. And and that's not necessarily only romantic partnerships, um, also just one-on-one -on -one partnerships. Maybe you were consulting with a doctor and in some type of medical field um, for something that's been going on for you health-wise, Aquarius, and... Maybe it was you that cut them out because you weren't getting the required care or the progress that you would expect from spending that sort of money in that direction. So I'm feeling like 
with the temperance in reverse. That's why that came up on the Divine Lovers card. Um, just inappropriate medicines, and I have to qualify this that I'm not a doctor, and this is by no means any sort of medical advice. Um, but maybe they, the treatments that you've been receiving haven't been effective. And you're going to look into that further with somebody more experienced in the field that you're needing help in. And I feel like that's appropriate and going to give you some answers and lessen your worry about the circumstance that you're going through, Aquarius, with the Nine of Swords on the Queen of Wands. Interesting. We're seeing what else there is for February. This feels like a very quick reading. It's coming out pretty fast. So I'm going to just go ahead and flip these over for the end of February, moving into March for you. So the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the World. I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune. Upright. So the Seven of Cups is having to make a quick decision. And I know had I had mentioned in your financial world, in your career world, it very well could be that you are exploring your options throughout February of a new direction to take on how to financially support yourself and some different avenues and opportunities are coming up throughout the month. And towards the end of the month, you're going to feel like it's time to make a decision and take some clear action in one of those directions. And you're going to feel like, of course, that it, it needs to feel like the logical, stable choice, something that's going to pay off and give you financial security. Clarify these. The Nine of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands, very interesting energies, and the Queen of Cups, all in reverse. Okay. So with the Nine of Wands on the Four of Pentacles, again, what's coming up is that I feel this, this new project or endeavor or relationship or partnership that you're stepping into towards the end of the month, Aquarius, is going to feel like it's relieving some of your burdens that you have to do this part of your life alone. And this partnership, I want you to, because the Queen of Cups is in reverse on the Wheel of Fortune, um, get quiet and trust your intuition that these choices and these new directions that you're moving into are going to pay off. I feel the Queen of Cups in reverse, you, you may be second guessing yourself in the choice that you're having to make because maybe it doesn't feel like the most passionate of directions that isn't quite where your full hearted make my heart sing passion lies. Um, but I feel like it's a very, it would be a very practical move for you with the, with the Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So I hope part of that made sense, Aquarius. That was a really fast reading. We just blew through that. So maybe I'll pick a couple of extra cards for you. I'm going to do a Wild Kuan Yin from the Alana Fairchild Oracle deck. And for additional messages for the month of February, Aquarius. <clears throat> this one, <coughs> excuse me. Be led by the path before you. <laughs> She's kind of backing away by the bull. Okay, number six. I will read to you. It's like story time. You may wonder if you were on the right path. Didn't that come up? You may have a choice to make and are uncertain as to which decision will be the right one for you, the Seven of Cups. I scatter petals to scent the wind and blessings to reveal the way. Though at times you may fear that you are being led astray, 
Trust in, in your unfolding life journey, for the path before you is one that I have blessed. Cool. That's so perfect. I'm going to keep reading the guidance for you, Aquarius. I love this deck. Here it is. Spiritually, we can sometimes make the most progress when physically there appears to be the least happening. When the divinity of our path is hidden under ordinary day-to-day -day hard work, and not quite feeling like you are there yet moments. We are building our spiritual muscles, faith, courage, trust, determination, commitment, patience, and serenity. When these spiritual muscles grow strong enough, the physical world responds to their exertion by taking shape and responding to that inner power. <clears throat> then there is a feeling that our soul is coming to life in the world manifesting our heart's desires before our eyes, confirming that our faith and patience have been expressions of wisdom. You may need reminding that you are on your path. You are right in your sense that there is a greater purpose calling you forwards. Do not fall into the trap of imagining there is some other way to get there, however. You have not made some error simply because your life doesn't necessarily look or feel the way you imagined it would at this point. You may fear sometimes, but there is a greater hand guiding your course, and it is safe to trust it. <clears throat> so yeah, Aquarius, sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit, with the King of Wands on, this is exactly pointing to the, the decision that you feel like you have to make, and Maybe you're unsure of it and not trusting that it's quite the perfect path. Uh, this oracle card is saying, yes, it is, and it is going to pan out, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here. And it's a step on your path, and there can be no failure. So whatever you decide and whatever you choose is going to get you closer and further, further along on your <clears throat> spiritual journey, Aquarius. <clears throat> 